Hey everybody, I've got a couple of uh, comments on previous videos of um, people wanting to know how to set up Bitcoin mining software on their laptop. So I just decided I'd go ahead and show you all how to do that today. Um, my screen casting software isn't working right now, so you get to watch it on my iPad. And uh, okay, so here's... First, you'll want to go to nicehash.com. That's the software we're going to be using. Uh, it's the only software, maybe not the only one that I am aware of, that allows you to still earn Bitcoin for mining on a laptop. Um, and that's because it auto trades. But it is the simplest by far. Uh, at least I think it is. It has the simplest user interface, the simplest uh, setup process, and all that good stuff. So um, you'll want to go to nicehash.com. Um, and this is a fresh, a fresh installation of Windows 10. So I decided to, to set it up from the beginning, just so, you all, so just so you guys can see exactly how I do that. So you'll go to nicehash.com, then you'll scroll on down to cell. Um, this will just be on the left-hand side on the first page that it goes to. Now, for our laptop, we'll want to mine with the CPU or GPU. Uh, most lower end laptops i guess will only have the cpu mining option um, so when you get to this page you'll want to go to download click on that it'll take you to one more page and then this is where some people get tripped up a little bit there are two options these are two different brands of graphics cards for those of you who aren't aware nvidia and amd um, now if you don't know if your computer has a graphics card or what brand it would have in it, you can go on down here. This is just a little trick. Go on down here to the Windows button. You want to right click on that, not left click like, no, like you normally do. And then go up to Device Manager. This is for Windows 10, by the way. Otherwise, uh, just go ahead and type Device Manager into this little bar down here if, uh, if, if you're not running Windows 10. But this is for Device Manager. Click on that, and then you'll go up here to where it says Display Adapters. You'll want to click on that little arrow, and this one says Intel HD Graphics Family. If it says something like that, something Intel, um, that means it's just built-in graphics. That means your computer does not have a graphics card um, specifically dedicated to graphics. So in this case, you should probably just download the NVIDIA one. Um, if y'all want a different video showing you how to do the AMD, I can do that. It's just a little bit different. It's the legacy miner, but NVIDIA is the most automated. And this will actually work just fine for your CPU mining if you don't have a graphics card in your computer. Just go ahead and click download on that. Now, I've already actually downloaded it, so I'm just going to cancel that one. And I'll go on over to my downloads folder. So let's go to downloads. And I have it downloaded right here. Go ahead and open that. Just double click it. Click agree. Install. And you just wait for a minute. There we go. Just go ahead and um, allow it to make changes, everything it wants. It's going to install some uh, visual C packages on your computer, which is totally fine. Just go ahead and allow all of that. And then make sure this is checked, run nice hash miner 2, and then you can click finish. Now just wait for a second for it to pop up. There it is. I'll click I accept, I accept. And then it wants you to confirm this. So let's see one second. Seven, six, eight. There we go. Go ahead and confirm that. And then it'll set up for you for a minute. Beautiful. Now what we'll want to do is, so I already have a wallet for my NiceHash account, um, but you probably won't if this is your first time downloading it. So you'll want to go back to, uh, just go back to the NiceHash website. You'll want to click on register and then you can set up a new account. Um, once you've set that up, you'll need to make a new wallet, a, basically a Bitcoin wallet. 
Um, I recommend doing it through NiceHash because they charge you a lower mining fee when you do that. And you also get payouts more frequently. Um, if you need help with that, let me know in the comments below and I can also help you set up a wallet. But for now, let's just go ahead and continue on with this. So you'll want to click the start button. It will do a, a benchmark for either for your CPU or if you have a graphics card in your computer, it'll do a benchmark for your graphics card. But that can take a few minutes. So anyway, looks like it'll probably take a little bit, but so this is just basically testing the capability of the CPU that it's going to be mining on. And that's basically it. Uh, after that, you can see the little box is checked right here, start mining when finished. It'll start mining to the wallet that you have preset, that you, that you set up inside your, uh, your program here, the nice hash miner. And it can, it'll basically just pay out your Bitcoin each time it reaches a certain limit. Now just be aware that if you're mining with a CPU, you won't be earning very much. Um, anywhere from maybe five or 10 cents, anywhere from there to probably 25 cents or so per day with just a CPU. If you have a GPU inside your laptop, um, it could be making more. But anyway, that's the basic setup for it. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below and I'd be happy to make another video. But uh, for now, Happy mining, and thanks for watching. Make sure you smash that like button, and oh, there we go. It looks like it's mining now. Of course, I didn't put in the, the wallet, so it's just mining on demo right now. It says demo mode. You will not make any money if you don't put your wallet in while it's mining on demo mode, so make sure you do that. But that's what the mining window looks like. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. If you want to see more videos about how to set this up or more videos about my own mining rigs. And until next time.